Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today I'm going to show you how to cut an ordinary plastic bag and use it to pipe all different styles without the need for a piping tip. Of course the simplest one is if you just cut a tiny bit off one corner and you can use that to pipe lines, patterns, words, snowflakes, whatever you want. Make sure you do buy quality bags for this though because some brands are not strong enough to handle frosting and they'll just split at the seams. If you want a medium round piping tip, first add tape to one corner of the bag to make it firmer. And then if you just cut a straight line across, you'll see when you flatten it out the other way, it isn't straight across. You'll get like a shape on your piping. So instead of cutting it straight across, what you want to do is cut out a slight curve instead. Place your frosting into the bag and starting in the center, pipe a swirl around and up. For our next cut, tape the bag just like we did before and then make a small straight cut up the centre line and then one in from the side to that line so that you take out a chunk of the bag. Let me show you that again up close. Just cut up the centre and then across so that you take out a chunk. Fill the bag with frosting and with the uncut part on top, pipe and then pull away and continue to do that the whole way around your cupcake. I developed these different ways of cutting bags a while ago now, probably a couple of years ago, and I've got a few old videos that have it in. If you do have a piping bag and tips, you can definitely use those instead, but not everyone in the world has access to piping bags and tips, and some people can't afford them, especially if you're using lots of different colours on the one cake, like this rainbow cake, so you need lots of bags. They're quick and beautiful. For our next bag, reinforce the corner of the bag with tape like we did before and then cut off the tiniest slither from the corner. So you're just cutting off a very tiny bit. And you can use that anywhere that you want to pipe ribbons of frosting. Here I'll just pile some up on the cupcake to show you what it looks like when you're piping with it. And then you can add some sprinkles on top. You can use that same cut to pipe a border, like a frilled border around the edge of a cake. And make sure your frosting is stiff enough to hold its shape. And I'll link you to the frosting recipe that I'm using on the howtocookthat.net website. I'll link to that in the description below. If you use two colours in your frosting bag, then you can get a pretty effect with your ribbons there. Take a new bag, tape the corner and cut two slits coming in from the corner and up, making sure they're about the same length as each other. Open up the bag and flatten out that corner and cut another slit the same length straight up the middle. I'll show you that again. So cut two slits, open up the bag and flatten it out and cut one more slit in the center. And you can use this cut to pipe a big swirl on your cupcake all the way up to the top or to do lots of little stars all over a cupcake to cover the whole thing. For this next one, fold the corner of your bag over and tape it into place. Fill the bag with frosting and then use a toothpick or a skewer to push holes into the bag. So you fold over the corner, tape it into place, and then once you've filled it with frosting, poke holes into the bag. Give it a gentle squeeze, and if frosting is coming out of one hole more than the others, then just even it up by making the others a little bit bigger. So just put your toothpick back in and wiggle it around a little bit, and then they should be about even. You can squeeze this all over your cupcake. It makes really good monsters here for cookie monsters, or you can use it for grass. Cut a shallow curve from one side of the corner and you'll get a nice tip for piping rounded blobs. Let's use that to put a flower on top of the grass one. Just pipe all your petals in there and then just pop a candy on top. And again if you use two tones of frosting in your bag you can use that exact same cut and get a pretty effect on your frosting when you pipe it. I've got the pink colour on the underneath and then the cream on the top so when it's piping you can see it there on each side. If you want a super quick one put some tape on the edge of the bag, fold the corner of the bag up and cut a slit in the centre and then fold it flat again. Put the frosting in the bag and then just squeeze the bag while you twist the cupcake around using your other hand and then add a few sprinkles to the centre. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click the thumbs up and share the video if it's helped you. Click here to go to the website for all of the How to Cook That recipes, here for the How to Cook That channel on YouTube to see all my other videos, and here for last week's giant Mars bar recipe. Have a great week, and I'll see you all on Friday.